The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the show with our usual taking a quick look at the DAX index. As you can see here, we have a potential of a Gartley forming here just a little bit lower. But that's not the one that we really want to be watching, folks. Uh, I think that uh, we've been keeping a very close eye on the FTSE, uh, which is the London market. We've had the uh, big ABCD patterns. You'll notice we have two of those up there, uh, just spot on at the exact 1.618 that we hit about five days ago. Uh, we've now dropped well over um, 100 and some points uh, in the FTSE, which is no small task. And it's coming down with some uh, a little bit of strength anyway uh, to the downside. So uh, this FTSE looks like it's made some type of a major top. Now, if it turns from here, and gets above point D, you know, all bets would be off. It would certainly probably go a lot higher. But right now, it has completed the double ABCD pattern and the 1.618 ratio, which is very important, uh, telling us that that London market has certainly made some type uh, of a minor top. I'm not sure if, in fact, this is uh, the top or not, but no one else is either. But the pattern was complete up there. It offered a very, very low risk uh, trading opportunity. And so that's one of the things that we try to look for here at TFNN is some low risk trading opportunities. Now, I've had a special request to take a look at the Treasury note market for one of our favorite folks down in the southern part of the United States that's freezing their little tushies off today because I guess it's pretty cool down there in Florida. But we're going to take a look here at the Treasury notes. This is the uh, daily chart here of the Treasury notes. We're going to walk through this together. We'll play devil's advocate as we look at this. As you can see, we have that big ABCD pattern where we had the 382 rally back on November the 6th. That ABCD pattern measures to 121.24. That's just about almost uh, three quarters of a point from where we are right now. And then we have the smaller ABCD pattern that started back on uh, November the uh, 24th, right after Thanksgiving. And then we had the small five or six day rally in there, 382. And now we're coming down to a um, another level here at 12208 is what we're looking at. So, hey, we got a we got David on the line. David, how are you? I am doing well, Larry. How are you this morning, sir? Well, I'm talking about your Treasury note trade right now as we were speaking. I just kind of go through it with everybody because the question you posed me in the email was, uh, you know, the kind of questions that I get quite often, but uh, I'm going through this, and it looks to me like we've got a little bit lower to go in the notes, uh, about another three quarters, between a half and three quarters of a point, but they are getting close. That's uh, that's basically, you know, we've taken out the lows of, uh, you know, way back in March. That that That's hard to believe, but we've taken out the yearly lows now uh, in the Treasury notes, which is telling us that, that they do want to, you know, go lower, i.e., higher interest rates. Yeah, it's, and that's why I posed the uh, the question that I, I did in my email. You know, along the lines of this may sound like you know be a crazy question or possibly a a high higher risk trade. Um, I was looking at it, you know, in the, in the face of you know rising interest rate expectations from the Federal Reserve. Uh, you know, as, every, as everyone knows, you know, higher rates means lower lower bonds. But I was looking at it, and, you know, I was pulling it back, putting it on a weekly, and, and this thing's, you know, tested like several times on, on the weekly. And I don't know. I just thought about it, thinking to myself, this is way oversold, you know, that it's possible for, a, for a, you know, like a short rally because, um, you know, my patience has been getting the better of me. I've been waiting for this thing to do a decent bounce to sell it, you know, like a nice, a decent uh, ABCD pattern up to turn around and sell it. And then early this morning, I was looking at it, and I was like, man, this thing might actually be a, a pretty decent counter-trade bounce, which is why I, uh, I sent you the chart. And I just wanted to say thank you and to all the listeners out there. I hope everyone realizes 
just what a super nice guy Larry Pezzaveno is. <laughs> okay, I'll, um, send, I'll send you the $20. The game, man, I'll send you the awesome. $20. <laughs> nah, Thanks, nah, David. Nah, I appreciate nah, it. Nah, let's uh, let's stay, uh, stay on the line here. Stay on the line here. Let's finish this analysis, though, because I think you're on to something here. Uh, you know, we are looking at this chart on the T notes. We're trading at like 122.12 right now. Uh, we're looking at a potential of 122. So you're about 12 pips away, uh, 300 some dollars away uh, from this thing. Now, the question that you you said it was a high risk. I don't agree with the high risk part, David. I think the risk part is. Um, is you can keep your risk really small, you know, to around $300. What it is, it has a low probability. And the reason why is uh, we haven't completed these targets yet. That's reason number one. And reason number two, if we look at the rallies that we've had in Treasury notes over the past, uh, you know, eight, you know, at least the past four months, they've been very, very minor. You know, you're talking about a point or so in, in any of those. So that's a, a very, very uh, low probability trade and the risk is you know i think the, the risk is what we follow the most and you can you can quantify that you don't know what the profit's going to be but uh, i certainly think that uh, it is a relatively low risk trade so I, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying the trade it's just the fact that uh, you know i just i just think there's uh, you know better probability trades that are out there that's uh, you know that's what i'm looking at let's gotcha, take a look gotcha. yeah, so they, if they, i'm understanding you correctly Yes. Um, you think the next target would be 122, about 12 pips away, and at yes. the most maybe 31 pips of a bounce, at the uh, if if even that is is what I'm hearing you say. Do I understand that correctly? Yes. Take a look here okay. at the this. I've just posted the Treasury bonds into the thing here using a four-hour chart, which I like to use. You notice that we talked about this yesterday that we could try to get those bonds up to that. Uh, 150, 116 level, but they didn't get there. They didn't even make a 61% retracement. All they did was make a small ABCD. But David, that pattern, that ABCD pattern took seven days, seven trading days to complete. And if you'll notice, it was even smaller than any of the rallies that we've had other than the one that was back on, um, you know, uh, December uh, into the new year. So this is a very negative chart. So uh, you can, I, I would wait until you got the 12 ticks lower in the T notes. I would certainly look at it there. But at that point, you don't have to risk, you know, more than $300. So it's going to be low risk. The probability part is uh, what I have trouble with. Gotcha. And, and, gotcha. David, gotcha. I should gotcha. warn you. You know, I'm one of the I'm one of the uh, people that counter trend trade probably as much as anybody else. But uh, the easiest trades, you know, are to trade in the direction of the trend is when you get these rallies back like we had yesterday. Mr. Z in the room yesterday uh, was actually selling up there around that 151 level. I noticed his post in there. And he was covering today at 49.19, I believe. So those are the ones that are the higher probability because you got that trend on your on your side, and that makes it a lot easier. Right now, I got yeah, no, for sure. I've been um, you know following your your ideas when you and I spoke earlier about it, and basically what I've been doing is um, looking at the four hourly and then breaking it down for more patterns on the 30 minute. Um, and what just caught my eye this morning was just the, the, you know, the test of 122 over, you know, several times over the last couple of years. And I was weighing that against the strength of the trend down combined with uh, rising interest rate expectations that maybe might motivate sellers to sell more than potentially cover. Okay, stay with us till after the break, David. I have one more point that I want to bring to your attention. Okay, okay? thank you, Larry. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at tfnn.com and when you sign up you gain instant access to john logan's most recent webinar how price volume and time make market profile so unique this hour-long webinar with john logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader you pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free for more information on the taz profile scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back with David from Clearwater. We're talking about the Treasury notes. David, you have one other good thing that is uh, on your side for potential long here, and the fact is that we've taken out the yearly lows, and there's been no follow-through to the downside. So that could also be, uh, be a factor. So uh, I don't know where you'd want to put your stop, but, uh, you know, you're certainly 12 ticks away from the ABCD pattern. So my advice is to wait to see if you're going to get there. It didn't make that trip down there for anything. So that's what I would suggest you do. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, Larry, that's, you know, it's one of those, what do I do? What do I do moments? I'm like, well, yeah. let's the someone who's a lot better at this, better at this than me and, uh, and see what your thoughts were on it. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, one other, one other one, if I, if, if I made a suggestion, um, interesting to see switching over to uh, natural gas and that's a commodity that will be traded extensively. Mm -hmm. Um, Depending on what happens on the EIA report, um, this thing is setting up for a, uh, a potential sell, uh, believe it or not. Um, so keep an eye on that one, guys. About 350, 355 range in that range will usually set up a sell because, um, and that won't bore everybody with the fundamentals behind it, but it's been my experience that when it gets to 350 and the run up to 350 during a cold winter, uh, a lot of these companies un uncap the wells that are already pre-drilled, crank out the gas, oversupply the hub in, in Louisiana, and then we'll get a bearish report out of the EIA, and it sets up a nice risk-to-reward uh, analysis uh, right around that 350-ish range. So it's, it's well, a that, pattern that, complete that, because it's in that, the process of making an ABCD up. That's that's uh, that's 30 points higher. Uh, I just posted the chart of the natural gas, and uh, we just completed a beautiful ABCD pattern up here at the 329 level. So uh, this this pattern could all could possibly be completed already. But I see if you get one of these bullish numbers, you could easily make that uh, 1.27 expansion at 350. I see what you're saying there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's what tends to. Be the thing with that, well, let me rephrase this. I shouldn't say the thing with that. Forgot. In my opinion, let me say it like this. In my <laughs> opinion, when you have really cold weather, like we've had, like we're having, and just the advent of fracking and what that's done to the speed with which suppliers, drillers can go, because what they do is they frack these walls and then they cap them. 
and, mm-hmm. and, and generally as the price gets higher, then they'll uncap them, put a lot of supply into the hub. And then generally at that point in time, it starts to make ABCD patterns. We will get a 1.27 uh, fairly often, a 1.618 expansions on an ABCD pattern on occasion. But generally what it likes to do is, in my experience, again, is uh, it makes that 1.27 expansion like you just referenced a second ago, trades up mm-hmm. there for – all of about an hour or two, and then the uh, the sellers come in and start moving it down. So anyway, it's just something to consider, a thought to share with uh, with the Tiger Room and and the whole gang at uh, TFNN. Well, that's very good, David. And if you look at this natural gas closely, you'll notice that the AB leg is six days up, the CD leg is six days up, and they both come to you know equal amounts. So you got a perfect ABCD there. But we'll be watching the re- the reports today, isn't it? Yes, sir. 10, All right, we'll, uh, we'll of, check uh, it. Maybe yeah, we'll uh, we'll follow through with it tomorrow to see what happens. But thanks for calling in. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you, Larry. I greatly appreciate you taking my call. I greatly appreciate you answering my emails. I just want you to know I do not take any of it for granted. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know you don't, David. Thank you very much. Okay, folks, All we're right, going to take – you bet. We're going to take a quick look here at uh, one other thing that we need to be watching today, and that is uh, I wanted to show you a, a rep- rep- uh, repetition in some of these patterns. This is the one we were looking at here on the um, euro yesterday. If you remember, we were watching this euro making this high up here at the 123 level with that ABCD pattern that we have here. But you'll notice that butterfly pattern that is formed. Now, these patterns work on different time frames, and if, if you take a quick look here, this is one that we just got from our good friend across the pond over there, Mr. A.S. over in the U.K., and this is the one he's looking at with the Dow Jones, uh, and you'll notice here that we have completed the, this uh, ABCD pattern here in the, um, the Dow E-mini uh, the same way that the euro is done. So that's telling us if this, this pattern is correct, we should be looking at a little bit lower market this morning. I know it's higher right now, but uh, right now this is what this pattern is saying. That there's potential for this thing, you know, to actually, uh, you know, to uh, go to the downside for heaven's sakes. Look at the swings that we're having yesterday, folks. 300 and some down and 300 and some up in the Dow Jones. That's what we call volatility. That That's an ideal situation, you know, for pattern recognition swing trading. And that's the, what we're looking for you know, in some of these markets. Now, Tom O'Brien, when he was on this morning, talked about the fact that, you know, we did make a higher high uh, in the uh, S&P, and we made a higher high in the NASDAQ. Oh, we didn't make a higher high in the NASDAQ, and we did not make a higher high uh, in the um, Russell. The Russell only rallied back to the 61% retracement. So that's the main thing that uh, we want to keep uh, keep watching is uh, something that we have to be able to uh, you know, keep our eyes on it as uh, these things unfold. So the Russell has been the weakest. That's the one if you're interested in shorting, that would be the one that you would want to uh, have a pretty good, uh, uh, you know, pretty good possibility uh, for a trade. Okay, let's move on to the gold. Folks, we've come down $24 now in gold. Uh, we've been waiting for this three to five day correction. We're in the third day of it now. We're coming into Friday. Uh, unless we blast off to new high ground today, I still think we've got a shot at the, the $34 down. That's another $10 lower than where we are right now. So I think if we're patient, you know, we still should get a chance, you know, to look at the gold. We're seeing, you know, weakness across the the other precious metals. Uh, not so much platinum. Platinum's still acting pretty well, but the silver is still lagging badly and it has a hard time, you know, getting much above you know, $17 an ounce. But uh, the gold is still in play, as near as I can tell. So I would just be a little bit more patient with that and to see how that's going to come about. Now, the, the crude oil, that's another one that we need to pay attention to because, you know, we've seen this divergence that we've had in the heating oil where, you know, we've had this incredibly cold weather across the upper parts of the uh, uh, North American continent and east east coast, where even Niagara Falls froze for partial time, which that's only happened since uh, 1911, I believe. So the key is to watch to see what the retracements are. Now, yesterday in the crude oil, we rallied back to a perfect 61% retracement at 64.40 and change. We've now dropped almost a dollar a barrel. 
uh, from that level that's telling us that yes there's a possibility to this top in here but watch for the ABCD patterns on this uh, this crude oil on the, the 30 minute chart because you're probably going to get a very low risk selling opportunity if you follow that because uh, it trades very, very actively, and it does have tremendous moves, and especially with this report that's coming out today uh, on the oil complex, it'll probably make the market uh, move a great deal. But as we mentioned several times, there's a lot of resistance up in the $65 area a great deal. In fact, we've had Bill Meridian from Cycles Research on last week, and he was saying that that $65 barrel oil was going to be uh, pretty much of a problem. To, to get through. So we'll take a break here and we'll be right back. 877 927 6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, the flag is up. The stocks are still acting uh, relatively strong. We're up on the day. Um, the uh, Treasury bonds and Treasury notes are still holding. Uh, the notes have not really collapsed, which is, uh, you know, you would think breaking into new lows on the year, there would be much more selling to the downside. The Treasury bonds are setting right at the 78% level at this 149.19. However, that's the only thing that you have going for you there uh, is the fact that it's at the 786. The rest of it does not seem to... Uh, 
to fit in with a, a long side of the trade. If we had several other ratios or patterns there, it would certainly you know, make it, uh, you know, a lot more uh, palatable. The one that's really uh, jumping around today from a shorter term perspective that we like to trade on the 15 minute charts uh, is the uh, the Japanese yen versus the U.S. dollar. I just wanted to look just one second here. We'll get this up here to take a look at it. I hope. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Here's what we're looking at here. Uh, we'll take a look at this Japanese yen uh, over on a 15-minute chart because if you remember that low that we made there at 110.19, well, we should do it first. Yeah. Sorry, boys and girls. Stay with me here for a second. I, I got out of, I got out of line here. I wanted to show the bigger pattern in the yen first, so not to confuse everybody, which is not easy to do. And you'll notice that we did go down to that exact 1 point or 61 percent retracement at 110.25. Uh, that was the buy point. We got down as low as 110.19. Uh, and now if we go to the, the shorter term pattern, and this is where, you know, looking at these patterns uh, on a shorter term basis can be uh, a whole lot of fun. And I'll get this one up here to take a quick look at it if I can get it up here. And here it is. We'll just bring it up here. This is live. It's not Memorex. So you'll see this was the bottom we made down there at 110.19. We had a nice rally. You notice it pulled back almost to a 50% retracement. The 382 was about eight pips higher. So that was the buy point, 110.65. We rallied all the way up $800 to the 1.618 expansion. And then we were expecting the market to come down here to this uh, 110.95 level and boys and girls believe it or not that's where we're trading right now so what you have now on this japanese yen trade is you have a 135 pattern where you have higher bottoms so uh, this is what i would view as a potential for a low risk entry so it's only a 15 minute chart but it fits all the parameters uh, that you'd possibly want to look at you, you have a really nice upward trend on a shorter term pattern correct and you're making two beautiful pullbacks. So those are the ones that I would certainly watch. You don't have to risk more than uh, 30 pips on this. And the last one, you know, was plus 80. So it acted, uh, you know, relatively well on a risk-reward basis, that's for sure. Now, another one that we've got to keep our eye on, and this is our good friend Rich Anderson. I wanted to bring this one out to today. This is the uh, that July uh, December soybean uh, oil that we're watching and you notice that we're waiting for this ABCD pattern to complete just another a few uh, ticks below where we are right now and we're very very close to it I think we're probably spot on and so we'll be we'll be bringing that to your attention early in the week because uh, we'll, we'll want to wait get through Friday because it's been a down week in soybean oil and it's better you know to wait till the week is over to look at it fresh on Monday uh, unless it would reverse you know sharply on Friday then you might have to do something but it's better to wait over the weekend especially with the you know the weekend coming tomorrow and uh, We'll, uh, you know, and, and that's just a timing thing. You know, that's really what we're what we're really trying to do. We've got to take a look at Bitcoin, folks, because uh, we had our good friend Kerry Sismansky, one of my uh, uh, students that lives here in Tucson, that runs Harmonic Edge. I wanted to bring this up. He was looking at Bitcoin yesterday, uh, down at this uh, level, and it got. Uh, uh, right at the top edge of his uh, thing, yeah, I think the low yesterday in the Bitcoin was at uh, 9,200, as I recall, and he was looking for a buy around 94. It rallied 2,000 points uh, since that time, and uh, that is a very important bottom. And if you'll remember, uh, one of the things that we focused on uh, this week, and that is this pattern that we're seeing in Bitcoin, you'll notice that we came within... Uh, just about uh, a 400 point, 300 points of the exact D level. We were looking at uh, 8,900, 8,500, 8,900 would have been the perfect ABCD 1.618 expansion and also the 78% retracement. So this could be a big ABCD pattern completing in Bitcoin. The key to it will be strength. And if we can get this market above 14,000 uh, per share, it's hard to believe we're talking about these numbers. Uh, this is a really strong probability that we're looking at another move. And if that's the ABCD pattern, folks, uh, remember the AB leg went uh, 14,000, right? From 6,000 to 20. So you add 14,000 to nine, you're going to be looking at $24,000 a share in Bitcoin. 
And that's only half as far as some people think it's going to, because some people give it a price objective of $40,000 a share. That's a little high, but who knows? Remember, it's the wild, wild west, folks. We're watching this because uh, we want to be able to see you know, what happens. The high so far has been, thanks a lot, Mr. Z, the high so far in the Bitcoin has been 11850 uh, thus far. So I think it's got a pretty good uh, chance. The uh, futures margin is only $32,000 on that. So it's not a too bad for, <laughs> when you consider all the other things that are tradable. I wouldn't touch Bitcoin with a 10-foot uh, pole. And uh, that's what I would be, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, and I see what you mean, Bob. Uh, Bob in the Dan is talking about T. Boone Pickens is talking about he d uh, doesn't want to have anything to do with a with a uh, something that has crypt in its uh, uh, in its name, which is probably probably good. He's of the old school like I am, so who knows? But hey, it's fun to watch it, and you know these things are going to be uh, blockchain uh, programming is going to be here, so we might as well start to learn a little bit of it as we as we go through and uh, see, uh, you know, what's happening with uh, some of these things. Uh, the other thing is the cattle market, folks. Uh, Mr. Z and also Rich Anderson was pointing out this fabulous pattern that we had here uh, in the, let's put this up here so the folks can see it, because we've had one heck of a move here in cattle these last couple of days. It's been off to the races, as they say in the old cow trade. But we've got all the way up to almost 123 already, folks. That's uh, that's four, four and a half, five handles from the, the bottom, which was a spot on 61% uh, retracement. And uh, so we'll, we'll see how far it's going to go. But with that much strength, that's telling us that cattle probably have a little bit more to go on the down uh, to the upside before we see any... Um, sizable correction and we'll be watching those corrections as they occur but it does look pretty good you know from that perspective you know right now so we've been trading now for about eight minutes the markets are bouncing back up again we're back up to 2805 uh, in the uh, s in the s p the s p should have some really strong resistance folks at the 1.27 expansion which would be at the uh, 2814 level that's uh you know, nine handles from where we are right now. But, uh, you know, that to me is not you know, the easier trade would be to look at that Japanese yen down there at that 111 layer. We're trading 111.05 now. We got a low as uh, 110.97. But that that that's a better trade because you're trading with the short term trend. You're buying a nice pullback that's equal to the others. You know that you're what your risk is. And uh, that's really what you're trying to find out, what your risk is. 877-927-6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Thicker Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. 
See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick look here at the um, Dow Jones Utilities, and that's uh, forming a really nice 61% retracement, even though we've had this strong move down from that three drive to a top pattern that we had a few weeks ago. But this fits in with the scenario that David from Clearwater was looking at uh, for possibly buying treasury notes and um, also treasury bonds. But the um, this is very, very close to the exact 61% retracement. So his idea of a possible bounce in an oversold market might not be uh, too far-fetched. So keep in mind here, the risk is certainly quantifiable. You don't have to risk more than a few hundred dollars to see if you're right. But that's one of the things that I would, uh, you know, keep a, uh, you know, very close eye on. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see this unfold because uh, this uh, chart on the Dow Jones Utilities is uh, it's extremely bearish long term. But we are over a period where we'd be looking at some uh, real serious uh, spots to uh, get into the. Uh, uh, you know, the, the short side of this market because this thing wants to go down a lot. Interest rates are going higher, folks. It's just a question of, of when. We've been saying that for a very long time. In fact, uh, Kerry Szymanski from uh, Harmonic Edge won the competition for Timer Digest of the Year by being short treasury bonds uh, based on that three-drive pattern that we had, and that's worked out you know very well for him which we we certainly we certainly would like to see okay now i would like to discuss a, a little bit more about the us dollar because we've had something happen in the us dollar that is very important and we are over it as we speak right now we're getting close to it and that is we're almost at the exact 1.618 expansion uh, from the low that we made back in September. So we want to watch this one very, very closely here because uh, this has a potential. Even though the long-term weekly chart is very bearish, here again, it's like the Treasury notes. We still could get this you know, counter-trend rally. And I don't know whether we're going to or not, but the fact that we had that big outside day yesterday, we made a lower low and then a higher high, you know, tells us that that's uh, a, a potential. Now, it hasn't run away to the upside. It's basically backing off again, means the euro is rallying. But the euro is coming up into some really strong, uh, what we would call resistance at this 122.60 this morning. That would be a uh, retracement back from the bounce that we've had. Longer term, the euro still looks like it could have legs, i.e., the dollar index could go lower. But at this particular point, where we stand is at a critical level because it could stop right here, and that's where the rally would go. That's one of the quandaries you have is when you're trading is you have to decide, you know, what, uh, you know, what time frame you're going to trade on and how much you're going to have to risk. So we have to look and see uh, what's going on. Uh, the U.S. dollar index, yes, we, we did hit that trend line in the, on the weekly dollar index. I believe I might have that. Yes, I do. Just a second here. We'll get this up here and take a look at it. Uh, thanks for bringing it to my attention, Gator. We'll bring this long-term weekly chart up. Here's what I'm talking about. You'll notice that we broke down 
uh, below that uh, uh, level. Uh, and that, that, that trend line does connect. I, I don't have it drawn on this chart, but if you drew it from the low in 2011 to 2014, it comes spot on there at that 90 level in the uh, dollar index. So that could be, you know, a spot to really, you know, watch at. But, you know, any move above, um, you know, this 123 level in the euro is going to d disseminate or decimate this uh this dollar index chart and it'll be heading down a great deal if we get above 123 in the euro that's the the key figure to watch on but we're at a very critical spot right in here uh, of a potential turn here mainly because of that 1.618 expansion uh, in that dollar index is what i would be looking at you know as a potential for a pretty good uh, pretty good move that's what what i would be watching i don't uh uh, the the Dow Jones made a new high yesterday. Of course, it shattered it, but the Russell has been lagging badly, and uh, as long as that continues, it still has the potential, you know, to go uh, a little bit lower. But we we're getting emotionalism in the market, folks, with these 300-point moves in the Dow. Let me let me give you a little bit of a heads up. What you're going to see very very shortly, you're going to see a down day in the Dow that is going to be more than 500 points in one day. That's not going to be very much from this level. Just remember that. The biggest, the worst day we've ever had in the market was 777, and that was in 2008 when we were getting ready to lose um, uh, Lehman Brothers. So let's uh, remember that if you take the biggest down day we had so far, which is 300 and some points, you multiply that times 1.618. We're going to see a day of 500 points or more without any trouble at all, and that'll happen probably very, very quickly. That would be, that would be my guess. So we'll we'll see if that's going to be the case. Now the euro just hit that price level that uh, we've been looking for that came in right here at this uh, 122.60 level. We'll see if that's going to uh, have much to do with the market, but we'll uh, we'll watch it. Just this is on a shorter term pattern, of course, but it's something that we want to be. Uh, we, we, we want to be keeping a close eye on is what I would be watching. Anyway, we got the gold trading at around 1331. We've rallied about $7 off of the bottom. Uh, if gold is any good uh, from the short side, it's not going to get much higher than where it is right now because the last rally that we had was $7 before the low. So uh, I'm still hoping, and I know hope is a terrible word for trading, but my uh, let's, let's use a different word. We are still anticipating. Uh, a a five-day down move in gold. Hopefully, there's that uh, anticipating the area of around uh, 1305. That would be the area 1305, 1309 is what we'd like to see uh, in the gold market early next week. That would fit in really nicely with some uh, smaller-term ABCD patterns and uh, also a nice 38% uh, retracement of this $108 move that we've had since uh, December uh, the 12th is when the bottom was come in one day after the the big cycle day that Norm Winsky, you know, told us about. Uh, it had to be pretty big for quite a few things. It didn't do much for stocks, but some of the other markets sure had huge moves, you know, on that date. So that cycle was certainly active. It just wasn't active in the stock market, maybe because everybody's bullish stocks. That I don't know. But I do know that once stocks do start to come down, they're going to go down just the way they went up, only a little bit faster. That's Isaac Newton's second law of motion. So hasn't been repealed yet, but someday, not so far. Okay, uh, crude oil is now backed off uh, from the last low that we made. We backed off to a 61% retracement here at uh, the 63.70 level. This should be some pretty strong support here uh, in the crude oil. If you look at this on a 15-minute chart, uh, I don't have a chance to pull this up. Uh, I might be able to do it before the break. I don't know. Oh, I doubt it. I'll put it on after the break anyway. Uh, you'll be able to see that it's made a really nice Gartley pattern here as we speak. And so uh, as long as we can stay above this 63.50 uh, level, we should be okay uh, in the uh, crude oil. Let's just get the chart up here so you folks can take a look at it. And then we'll get into the last part of the break here. And there we go. Uh, and that's the Gartley that we just had in the crude oil. So we'll watch it uh, just a very, very, very closely. We did hit our number uh, in the uh, Japanese yen at 10.95. We're trading at 10.92. As long as we stay above 10.80, we should be okay in that uh, Japanese yen. 
and then we'll see what the rest of it is. We'll take a break here and finish up the show. 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And I just wanted to um, let you know that uh, we still have all of these gaps in the Dow Jones Industrial Average that we've talked about day after day after day. They will be filled. I mean, this is historically something that we've never seen before, which this is how a big bull market should end with a great deal of spectacular movement. And we've certainly seen it by uh, since Election Day. We've gone 8,000 points higher. Uh, that's a little over a year. So that's never happened before. So uh, these gaps that we had, there's 11 of them that, uh, that have to be filled. Uh, or they should be filled. I, I guess there's no 100%, but boy, from technical perspective, they sure look interesting anyway. Um, just protect yourself at all times. Uh, I'm afraid, well, I'm not afraid, but I'm expecting something probably really sinister might come in here and spank some of these people that have just been indiscriminately buying 
uh, to catch uh, please let me in type moves. And whether that will happen or not, I don't know. But uh, it's going to have huge swings no matter what because whenever these markets have big breaks, they come right back because the shorts are absolutely scared to death. That's ideal for pattern recognition swing trading. What we need to do is to wait till we find a really nice pattern, much like the one that we had in the Russell uh, the other day that uh, worked extremely well. In fact, it is actually it is actually still working. And, uh, you know, it has not, uh, you know, violated even the 61 percent retracement here. So that one is still in play, whether it's going to continue to be in play or not. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to have a mystery guest on. I'm not sure if I can get to him or not. Uh, that's Mr. Ace that has the, you know, the big position in Bitcoin that he made so much money on. And he's in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. And uh, he's going to get back to me this morning to see if we can have him on in the morning to tell us how he did it and what he was looking for. He's a very smart fellow, 31 years old, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think you'll enjoy him if we can have him on the air. So we'll see. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!